Hello friends and welcome to your Friday tarot reading but also a bit of a weekend forecast. I think I'm going to make this a thing on a Friday where we do a slightly longer video, slightly longer reading but that's because we're going to do the 15th to the 17th of March. I have the unfolding path tarot here on the table in front of me and I'm going to show you the shuffling. I had a, a couple of comments recently from people saying that they miss seeing the shuffling. So Fridays we've got a bit of time. <laughs> So because we have a little bit of time, I shall show the shuffling. So this is Unfolding Path Terror. We're looking to do a forecast for today, Friday the 15th of March, Saturday and Sunday the 16th and 17th of March. So a little bit of a forecast of what are the next three days, what do we need to be aware of, what do we need to be mindful of, and where is the energy sitting. Right, cards are shuffled cutting the deck and let's lay them out so the first card we have is the page of cups i love him he is just so cute we have the nine of wands and we have the moon card right so let's have a look i mean the artwork is just gorgeous every time i use this deck i fall more and more in love with it <laughs> page of cups so look how excited he is with life. I mean, he's holding his little cup. He's looking at these little goldfish and life is just fabulous. He's in the moment. He's in that space and he's happy. So this is the message for us for today, for Friday, the 15th of March. This is Spirit saying that no matter what you're doing, try and find the joy in the little things. Try and find excitement and enthusiasm for all the tiny little bits and pieces that make up your day. If we go through life looking for one big thing to get excited about we're going to end up being fairly disappointed <laughs> but if we find joy in all these little moments all of these little mo joyful moments added together will actually be quite phenomenal and this is exactly what we need today so for friday the 15th of march it's about focusing on the little things it's about finding the joy in absolutely everything that you're doing and by doing so you will add and bring joy to the entire day and that's what we want saturday comes along right so here we have saturday it's the nine of wands now saturday is is most of most of us who work a full-time job most of us who work monday to friday saturday is either chore day or catch up with household stuff day or get the shopping done get the washing done saturday is generally a busy day for most people and it looks like tomorrow's not going to be any different so even those of you who don't really have saturday chores it's going to be busy okay there's a lot going on tomorrow that we need to be paying attention to so the nine of wands is the card that says right we're working towards something we're building towards something we're feeling a bit overwhelmed we're feeling like we may be running out of time or running out of energy or running out of something okay but it is the card of saying to don't give up even when it seems impossible even when it seems like you're just not going to succeed the nine of wands is telling you just just push that little bit further because you are 90 percent of the way okay so whatever you're doing tomorrow whatever you're doing on saturday the 16th of march it is about perseverance it is about being strong and it is about just continuing and not actually giving up because giving up means that you've worked 90 percent giving up before that last 10 percent you've actually wasted the 90 percent so it is going to be a busy day there is going to be a lot going on but you got this you got this <laughs> and then sunday we've got the moon card so the moon card you know you all immediately jump to visions of the full moon and sitting outside where it's calm and peaceful and tranquil and looking at the full moon and thinking oh life is good but unfortunately that's not really the interpretation of the moon card the moon card is about facing our fears it's about looking into the shadows you know when we do have a full moon it casts really scary shadows into um the garden that we are so familiar with and sometimes we can be a bit nervous and a bit scared and a bit apprehensive to actually go and look to see what the noise is that we've heard outside. And the moon card is saying to you, don't be afraid. So on Sunday, things may happen, things may unfold, and it may seem a little bit daunting. And I'm wondering if it's a continuation from this exhaustive energy of Saturday. But Sunday is going to come along and you're going to have to have either a tough conversation or a tough situation or something where you're going to have to face your fear face something that scares you face something that makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable and the moon card's message around that is don't be afraid 
to to look under the bed because you're just going to see that there is no monster and it's just your overactive imagination. Admittedly, it's not always an overactive imagination. Sometimes there is a little obstacle or a little something there, but it's nothing to be overly afraid of. It's nothing to be overly anxious or nervous about. The Moon card is saying that when you find the courage to look the monster in the face, the monster disappears. But when we ignore the monster and pretend like it's not there and refuse to make eye contact with it, the monster just gets bigger and bigger. We're almost feeding it. So the moon card is saying face your fears. Saturday, it's about a little bit of overwhelm, a little bit of feeling as if, oh my gosh, can I do this? Is it going to be okay? Am I going to cope? And Friday is going to be about just finding those joyful moments, celebrating the small things, enjoying the small things, living life the best that way that you can, um, and just, just enjoying what it has to offer you. So friends, that is your forecast for the next three days. I do hope that are, they are wonderful for you. I do hope that you are able to overcome and able to face whatever it is that you need to. As always, sending you so much love and blessings from my heart to yours. And until we connect again, take care.